Hi, welcome back. We have Livia here with us, and Livia is a standard poodle, a young one, she's actually a teenager. And this video is all about how to shave a poodle's feet. Okay, so Livia is a show dog, so every week or every two weeks the feet are shaved, so she doesn't have a lot of hair on her feet. Um, the first thing we do is starting with shaving off the most hair, so you have a clear view on every toe. What's very important is how you hold the feet. How I did, and I will always do, I put the feet just here, and I hold it between my index finger and my middle finger. So I actually hold the feet like this. So it's very relaxed, and you can do whatever you want, and it's very efficient to hold it like this. I'm using the Showtech Expertino. Um, it's a very, it's a, a handy, very small clipper and ideal for shaving um, smaller body parts for this part, for this video, the feet. So you have one length on this clipper. It's uh, 0 0.5 millimeters, what's ideal for shaving feet of a poodle or every other breed. So I start with shaving, just holding the feet flat. I'm using my thumb to hold every toe. And this is, this goes really fast actually, but this is the first thing I do. I'm also making the line in this stage, in the first stage, um, to where I can shave. If you have a feet, a dog's feet, you have four toes. I put the most hair off and there where the feet, the toes, there where the toes are coming together until there you st stop shaving. So this is actually the line where you stop. So I hold my thumb. And in this stage, I do it as straight as possible. At the end, I always can finish. So I have four toes. And then you start on the right or the left. That's what you personally prefer. I like to start on the right toe. And I start there. And I push with my thumb and my middle finger so the toes go open and you have a clear view and a lot of space where you can shave. I don't push on my clipper, I, he does the work for me. So don't push, but just let the clipper glide on the feet. What's really important is how to hold your clipper. Sometimes I see that people hold their clipper on the back end. Don't do this because you don't have control where you have to have control on the blade. So I really like that you hold your clipper like this and actually you're holding the blade not the clipper. This is the motor, this is the battery, that doesn't matter. It's really important is that part that you have control over the blade and that you actually hold the blade. So hold it as close as possible. Don't hold it like this or like this, but hold the blade. So 
So I start at the right side and just my clipper glides on the skin. I don't push or I don't pull. The clipper is just actually doing a great job. And I'm using my fingers to pull the hair off the nails. So I can take it with my clipper and every hair, hair around the nails are gone. I push a little bit here. So the toe opens and I can move on. What I do, because this is really important on this part, it's possible that you can hurt the dog a little bit. So I have this finger and I hold it here. So if I shave, I shave actually in my finger and not at the dog. And I always keep on moving my clipper. So for the back side, I just turn around the feet. And actually, this is a, a triangle. So all the hair between every toe has to be shaved off. The line, what you did, is actually a straight line just until here. So if you pull down the feet, this is a straight line. Let me hold. I taking this toe with my thumb, this toe with my index finger, and you see the hair like a triangle. This is the hair that needs to be shaved off. So you always keep on moving your clipper. This is very important that you don't stand still or you don't hold without moving your clipper because if you do that, you have more chance that you can hurt the dog. This, the back side of the feet is finished. So every hair is gone and you have a clear hairless foot. So again, on the second feet, I start with shaving the most hair off. If you have a dog's or a poodle feet that has a lot of hair, this is really important that you first see the four toes of your poodle's feet. So I'm making a line, like straight. It's very important that you hold the dog's feet and you shave very relaxed because this is not really a favorite part of the dog or for the dog to shave. So how more stressed you are or nervous, the more dog will pull his leg. So I start with the right toe. I'm taking the hair further away from the nail and I just let the clipper, the Expertino, glide. Don't push, 
Just do it very relaxed and let him glide on the toe. Hold the dog steady, relaxed, calm, and let the clipper do his work. The smaller your clipper is, or your blade is, the better. I always work with actually the points of my blade. So to shave, I actually use four teeth on the blade, on the left corner and on the right corner. Uh, don't use a lot of the middle of the blade, depending how big the feet is, of course, but I always work with the corners of the blade. So I move on to the next toe. I push with my ring finger and my thumb, so the feet is open. It's very important if you shave between the toes that you don't stop. You always keep on moving the clipper because if you stop, you can hurt the dog with your blade. So it's very important that you always work, never stand still with your clipper. It's really a focused job. It's something that you do have to do when the dog is relaxed and you are completely focused. If you want to do it perfectly, every hair needs to be shaved off. The dog needs to be very clean feet. So no hairs between the nails. Just do it focused, structured, and relaxed. If the dog stands on his feet, you cannot see any hair. So this is really important that you shave off. All the hair. You keep the straight line. So, like for a show dog, it's if your dog has beautiful, compact, closed feet, you can shave it a little bit higher to show his feet or you can do it like this this dog has beautiful feet very compact feet so you can show his feet or her feet So Livia didn't get washed before I, got, I start shaving the feet. Um, and um, sometimes it's better to shave the feet before washing um, if it's not too dirty or if the feet isn't wet. Don't shave a poodle's feet when the feet are wet because um, this will not give you a very beautiful result. It will not give you a finished result. And it's more dangerous if the skin is wet to shave the feet, also for your clipper. Um, but if, it's, um, if you shave the feet before washing and there is a little bit of dirt, it stands up, it let the hair stands up. 
and then you have a better and finished and it's more easy to shave and a better result. Of course, you can do the finishing after washing and drying. So if you hold the dog back leg to shave the back feet, you hold it the same way between your fingers. But it's very important that you hold the dog's leg on a natural way. So don't pull like this constantly because do it for yourself. It's, it's very difficult. It's not nature. So I hold it like he would walk and I have a clear view on the feet. So I just pull it a little bit up. What you can do if your dog is used to is they can lay down the dog. So if it's your own dog, learn them to lay down because it's more easy for the dog. It's more relaxed for the dog. So if it's your own dog, you can learn to lay your dog down on the side. So it's more relaxed for the dog. And for you, it's also easy because the back leg or the front leg will always be relaxed. So again, I'm using my ring finger and my thumb to open the toes. I push a little bit, not too much of course, but just a little bit so you can shave between and around every toe. I hold my finger. And I shave down, shave off all the hairs. Okay, so I shaved like 95% of this feet. I let the dog stand just for a minute to check because now you see how the feet looks like when the dog is standing. So I always check if you have learned to lay your dog down. I always check to put him up. Let him stand on the feet and just see a final check if everything is okay. It's a very precision work. And I always want it to be perfect. She's already very tired. <laughs> okay, let's recap. What's very important if you want to shave a poodle's feet? The first thing is really having a good clipper. Don't take a too big clipper, like the Showtech Expertino is really designed for smaller body parts for feet. So this is an amazing clipper for that job. So Choose the right clipper for the right work. In this case, it's for sure the Showtech Expertino. The way you hold your clipper. So that's the next step. The way you hold your clipper is very important to work relaxed 
and have a nice finish. How to hold your feet, like I explained, you have always the same structure to hold the feet relaxed. It's between your fingers and hold the dog's feet on your hand. Always use your thumb to push on every toe or to hold every toe. Always be in movement with your clipper. Don't hold your clipper still, so always keep in movement with your clipper. Because if you stand still, there is a possibility that you can hurt the skin. It's not really bad or it, it's not really that you really hurt the dog. It's just scratching. But keep moving your clipper. Be structured. Don't shave a little bit there on that toe or on another toe. Be really structured. Keep the same structure for every feet and for every time you want to shave your dog's feet. Be relaxed because if you are not relaxed, if you are nervous to shave a, a poodle's feet, the dog will feel it and it will pull his leg and it will also be like a little bit nervous. So be focused, be relaxed and keep structure. Okay, this was a short video about how to shave a poodle's feet. See you next time. Thank you.